Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey. And Lee. Good morn. How is everybody doing? Splendid. A little maudlin. Yeah. It's been a it's been a rough uh it's been a rough last month, you know. I mean January it was about a lot of loss, you know. We had a Blursed January. Had the catastrophic wildfires. We uh, lost a lot of public figures. You know, planes being shot out of the sky. Planes being shot out of the sky. You know, no, that was an accident. That was an accident after you know we bombed uh, the country. Uh, <laughs> and then they went and shot down the airliner. Right. President's been impeached. Uh, you know, it's just a really fucked, uh, fucked fucked year it's been a long year <laughs> it's only been a month oh man um you know but next next one will be good yeah we'll yeah. get there next month yeah it's a shorter but it's not it's a long february you know it's it's we're, it's, we're stuck and get a start on those taxes it's a longer year the year is very long this year it gets <laughs> we get 29 days of february yeah so this is a longer year we're like gonna have to drag this one out even longer that's fine. I love dragons. Ooh, like, uh, like, like my little, my little dragon. My, no, my little pony. My yeah. little dragon. <laughs> that no. for, that's what they made for the boys, right? My little dragon. No, no. Terrorizes neighbors. Chop dog. <laughs> the beefy arm. Set fire to dog dogs. <laughs> no. Damn, my little dragon. But. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's been kind of rough. Uh, it's been tense, and uh, who knows? Who knows what the future you know, holds in store for us, right? I mean, you, you never really do. <laughs> Maybe a door off to a short pier. Maybe. Into an abyss. The the doomsday clock, you know? It's like, what is it now? Like uh, 110 seconds or something? Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We're yeah, getting there. It's close. Sweet. It's almost like Watchmen. <sighs> If we don't have a big naked guy, uh, I'll be I'll be the naked guy. Okay, all right. I'll just paint myself blue. Nice. But you have to be completely naked I all the time. I don't all care. the time. Be yeah. comfortable with it. I'm, Force everyone else around you to be comfortable with I it. I blew myself, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tobias. Fumke, yeah. <laughs> Fumke yourself. It's, you know. Fucking blue man group. But see, that's great. I mean, he's willing to you know be naked for for the for the world. And uh, oh, I'm doing it for myself. It's oh, okay. to spite the world. Okay, I'm, I'm, oh. okay. I'm, I support you. <laughs> I respect that. Because I mean, you never know how much time you have, right? I'm gonna get real weird with it. Just get real weird. You just yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, shake it like uh, or no? Polaroid picture. Yeah, yeah that works. You, you ever, you ever, <laughs> you ever do a Google search and you put in like how long? And then the the auto completer going. Some of the things I've seen in there is like how long until I die. I'm like, what? <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. Come on, Google. How Alexa, long until didn't my... <laughs> help? I hope you can. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's been collecting all your data, right? So it's yeah, probably, I, I guess yeah. better anyone. Yeah, that's why I was doing the auto fill. <laughs> <laughs> they had stuff in there like how uh, how long until my parents can tell I'm gay or something like that. It's just <laughs> wow. like wow, what? That's very specific. We'll mail a package for you. Google's like, uh, well, because you smoke and text while you're driving, uh, you're going to probably die in 15 years. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, shit. Uh, all right, cool. You know? <laughs> Great. Thanks, Google. Nice. Do I have to pay for that? Oh, I'm not paying off those debts. <laughs> Since you looked this up, would you like to look up bucket lists? <laughs> hey. Google buckets. <laughs> that, <laughs> oh, man, that'd be great. That's a, yeah. You, now you know you're when you're gonna die. Let Google arrange your last few years on Earth. <laughs> Google buckets. <laughs> Google buckets. Just sign up when you're young, and we'll fill those buckets for you. <laughs> we'll get them ready. We've been preparing this your entire life, <laughs> based on your search history over the last twenty five years. <laughs> Can I say you just graduate college, and it's like, ding. Hey, you better go see uh, that band you love. <laughs> Uh oh! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, All right. Shit! <laughs> Damn it! What did I get in the mail from Google? Oh, it's a bucket. What are What are all these? What's happening? <laughs> no. And we even. Oh, I did the wrong service. I'm getting actual little beach pails, man. This is. I don't like those. The handles always break. 
And we offer an early checkout option where we hire a professional hitman to wipe you out. Hey, you know, that might be something, you know, I mean, if assisted suicide becomes a thing, I'm just going to have somebody so, like go, go 13 me, you know, like do this. Never see assassin. it coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just hit me whenever. I don't care. <laughs> whenever, man. <laughs> Make it flashy. Make it real flat. Yeah. Like if I'm walking like on a crosswalk in a busy area. Yeah. Definitely there. At the gym, that would be sweet. Like, Theme park, <laughs> top of the roller coaster. Make the people ride with my body the rest yeah. of the way. Yeah. Or, or during a bad date. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely during a bad date. Just kill me. I'll just I'll text you a code word. I'll well, text you a code word. Well, I'm going to have cameras in the house. So anytime, I, if I ever hit my big toe really hard, just kill me. <laughs> I'm tired of yelling at my kids every time it happens. <laughs> Who the fuck left these Legos out? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> They're Lego dad. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. You're Lego. I'm Legos. about to Lego this mortal coil. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Shed it. <laughs> Kid walks away. Shuff it off. Shuff it. It's not an S at the end of it. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Dad turned into Scorpion. <laughs> I mean, that kid that kid knew he was going to die at that moment. You know, death, that's an inevitable part of nature, right? I mean, you're going to die <laughs> eventually. You piss off your dad. <laughs> Correcting him after he just stepped on a four-square a four fucking Lego in the center of his foot. It's your fucking death sentence right there, man. It's Lego, not Legos. People have been ex- killed for way less. <laughs> uh, you know, my folks, they stepped on my Lego. They fucking almost got paralyzed <laughs> on those fucking things. And same thing happened to me. It was just like, yeah, yeah, enjoy your caltrops that you buy your children. <laughs> 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 Step on one of those, fall in the in the, in the fucking you know. It's like my first ninja toys and shit. <laughs> You're the fucking plastic ones to start with. All that shit we had like when in our age, man, with the, the toys we had when we were kids, fake guns, fake like I had this fake fucking knife, dude, like a Rambo knife, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it wasn't rubber or anything. This motherfucker was hard plastic, and like I, I, I nicked my mom with it, yeah, and it fucking it cut her. <laughs> <laughs> it's the not really thing. fake anymore. You <laughs> son of a bitch! The thing was, Ma, you just called yourself a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got her. I don't. Re- I was a little kid, man. I was like five or six, but I don't remember who the fuck gave it to me. But like, my mom was in the shower. And I fucking went up, I'm like, Mom, look what so-and-so gave me. And he showed me. And I fucking, like, sliced her in the butt with it, man. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. It's because when they have those seams of the fucking plastic, I bet you it was just, like, a little bit of plastic that was just a little bigger. But it was a hard but, plastic. It was, like, you know those right, fucking... Right, that's what I'm saying. You know so that ridge was hard. Those so it was lettuce knives? sharp. You know those lettuce knives that they yeah. had? Those pl- yeah, it was, like, one of those fucking things, like, from Bed Bath. Oh, you know? Right. <laughs> like, that they always have in the rack. Yeah, it was like one of those. I think you just got like a weapon somebody made to get through metal detectors. I know, right? I just got out of fucking. I just got out of the joint. You can have this. I pull it out of my butt. Been hiding in there the whole time. Ooh wee! I'm pretty regular. Who are you? Doesn't matter, kid. I'm going to get laid next door. You know, I'm like wait, that's where my mom is. <laughs> you can call me Carl. Got myself a butt knife. <laughs> you mean butter? No, butt. Just butt. Yeah, I mean, but honestly, you know, knowing that like one day you're gonna die, it can cause anxiety, right? It can make you, it can make you uh, have thoughts that you never even knew that you're ever gonna have. You know, like you get sick, or you know, somebody <laughs> close to you like gets. Oh, I'm dies. Sorry. I thought you meant like you got anxious. And no, just, like, no, no. Up. I'm just saying like you're up thinking like, about like, it. like you, you know you, you you get no you get you get ill you know and and like or somebody close to you is ill or or passes away you know like oh, I got you. You start getting <laughs> get anxious. You get sick. You get sick to your stomach. You get, you get uh, I can't. 
again. I'm gonna crawl into a little fetal. Uh, I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm watching ants again. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Woody Allen. Yeah. <laughs> gonna oh, die. Uh, I'm an ant. Somebody's gonna smush me or burn me with a with a with a with a magnifying glass. I'm wearing glasses. Oh, I'm an ant. <laughs> Whiz Annie. Whiz Annie. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I yeah, I guess some people get anxious. They get sick. You know, like get ill. But yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, it, it's tough to to kind of think about your own. You know. Eventual passing. Your ultimate demise. What are they all going to say about me? <laughs> you think I say anything at all? Hope they don't find my porno stash. Oh, man. Yeah. That's, you know, that's encrypted, double encrypted, 16 f- folders deep. <laughs> no. I, I just know. got that rigged up to my uh, Apple Watch here. So, you know, whenever oh, I right. die, to, if there's no heartbeat detected, it just wipes the computer. Kill switch. I nice. got things to do. Nice. Nice. Dig it. Get that's smart. What, what if you're just fucking charging your watch? Oh, man. I didn't think about this. And don't get it wet, because you'll lose that, like, four terabytes or something. You had only eight yeah. terabytes? I don't know. It's it's an impressive collection. I stopped counting. <laughs> Dude, he's in Pettaville. Hoo-wee. Don't, don't tell people that. That's no, us. no, petabytes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> but, I mean, say that, you know, say it comes along that you do fall ill, um... You know, some people want to arrange their their affairs and and have their effects passed on, or some kind of legacy that they could leave. You know, and some people uh, they leave these requests. You know, like 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 recently that uh, that Reddit uh, "Am I the asshole?" where the guy was like, "I want you to uh, you know remove my skull and <laughs> and 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 cremate my body and, and turn my body into two human diamonds." <laughs> Fucking gemstones to put in my skull's eye sockets. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And give it to the kids. God, that's so metal. And put it on. Oh, put it on the fireplace mantle. So we're always watching. And every yeah. Christmas, play hot potato with my skull. Right. Yeah, I know that's gonna be a fucked up Christmas. Like, or you know, just one day they're playing catch in the house. The kids, you know. And, oh no, I broke Daddy's <laughs> skull. <laughs> glue it, quick, glue it, <laughs> glue the skull. She's mm. gonna notice. <laughs> I don't think she likes it anyway. You go in a timeout. You're gonna have to tell Daddy Skull what you did. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just the look weird... at what you did. Look at it. I don't know. I I mean, there's some things. You, do you have to honor something that absurd? I well, mean, it, is it really absurd? Well, no. Here's the thing: is that the deceased their um, their wishes and everything always supersede the living because. That's their last wish. And that's their, that's why they have the last will and testament. So I guess if you did that, you wouldn't be like glorified at post mortem. You're like, oh, he's so great. They'd be like, he's a fucking asshole. What a weird fucking yeah, guy. Look at this fucking look at this fucking gem gem skull, some like Indiana Jones fucking prop that he like left behind for his kids. Looks like a failed fucking high school project. I mean, what well, you know, like you let the kids Macbeth it, you know, like you know. York it, you know. Alas, <laughs> York. I knew him. Paul York. I knew him once. His name was Fred. It's not York. Stop. Alas, alas, poor pop pop. Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke. It's yo. I said, yo, Rick. It's Rick. <laughs> His name is Rick. I said, yo, Rick. Ricky. I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's it's weird. It's a, it's a conflicting uh, thing. I think hopefully, hopefully, you know, it works out for them. <laughs> I don't care at all. You can throw me in the trash. <laughs> Just throw me. <laughs> oh, damn. Just put me in a bag. Throw me in the trash. I don't even care. Side of the road. Doesn't matter. I'll let, I'll let the refuse animals eat me and uh, trash bears get me. I don't care. <laughs> I wonder what that garbage collector would say that day. Score. Not, again. <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> Wait, is it really fresh? That liver looks good. I'll I'll sell that. Damn, I need 10 grand. Get that kidney. Good kidney, yeah. Get both of them. Get 20. <laughs> Shit. These are actually adult knees. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, another example of a really bizarre post mortem request was from uh, Harry Houdini. What that crazy fool say? <laughs> well, he said, I want you to tie me up really tight. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, I've been there. Wait, what? 
If that's not post mortem, that's like I want to be alive for that. You know, I want to be live, heart beating for that. I feel so alive. Now, Houdini he had an agreement with his wife Rosabel that she attempt to reach him via seance on the anniversary of his death. Kind of weird. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, if I ask my significant to like, hey, can you just bust out the uh, Milton Bradley Ouija board? And uh, I don't know, but like. So my old beard hair on. <laughs> no, the 1977 version, that one. Yeah. That one. And, oh, you know what? Uh, just use, like, one of my eyeglasses as an Oculus. It'd be great. It'd be, it'd be hilarious. Excellent. And then when I come up from hell <laughs> with no skin, like Hellraiser, cause that's how I'd do it. No skin. I need 72 versions waiting for Right, me. and i got to eat them all to get my skin back. Oh. Hellraiser. Hellraiser style. Yeah. <laughs> Dentist from hell. And he, he left her a code that he would provide in the afterlife, which was, uh, Rosabel, answer, tell, pray, answer, look, tell, answer, answer, tell. I, uh, you know, it could be a little more creative, maybe you know, a little better quality prose. <laughs> you can only afford a few words, all right? True. I, I would imagine, you know, if the afterlife's anything like Beetlejuice... It would cost a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they used for currency in Beetlejuice world, but teeth. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> so I, I guess you know. Imagine if, like Houdini actually is able to do this, but like he gets his ass beat by some other demon after he learns these <laughs> words. You know, like yeah, okay, you're an idiot. You just, you just, you just open the portal to hell, man. I'm gonna. I'm going to, she's going to say these words. I'm going to answer. She's going to let me through. <laughs> yeah. But no. Have no. fun in hell, asshole. So 10 years she gave up while uh, others continue in tradition. You know, uh, Houdini did die on uh, Halloween. And over uh, a week after being punched in the stomach by this uh, McGill University student named Jocelyn Gordon Whitehead. Oh, you know, Kevin, your ancestor. Kevin's huh? great grandfather, I think. He yeah, they coming. <laughs> My family doesn't trust fucking wizards. I mean, you've all <laughs> punched somebody in in the stomach and killed them too. Every Whitehead, it's amazing. Yeah, we're all one punch men. That's crazy. Um, wow, and you don't even get in trouble for it. That's amazing too. <laughs> I don't like to brag, but watch out. You're like this guy couldn't have done it. Let him go. I mean, the punch, they, they, uh, is it, is it proven or it's just believed that it led to the, uh, his appendix, appendicitis, like triggering? Well, or did it burst? I don't know. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll see a little, a little ahead here, but it was believed that that is possible, that it's possible to have led to that. Because one of Houdini's claim to fame was that he could take a punch to the gut and right, not even be phased, a... you know, not even, not even flinch. Right, but. There's some there, there, there's some prep involved. Well, the story goes uh, that the first year student McGill asked Houdini whether it was true that punches in the stomach didn't hurt him or not, and Houdini remarked rather enthusiastically that his stomach could resist much, though he did not speak of it in superlative terms. Therefore, he gave Houdini very hammer-like blows to the belt. Below the belt. Ooh. Yeah, below the belt. So you, you whiteheads are dick punchers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's dick. a little fucked up. You know, like, uh, look, man, he said my stomach, okay? <laughs> like, I'm Harry Houdini. I'm pretty fit. Is my stomach hanging over my dick? No. Oh, am I doing it wrong, Harry? <laughs> oh, you don't like that, Harry? I, uh, well, you know, my name's Jocelyn. I gotta do something about it. <laughs> Show you. Punching the... I wonder if it was like a... You know, the old timey boxing with the, the fists up, or do you just like do like a floppy? Like, no, no. Flap! No, I think he was like doing like that shit. Like Turbo he was, punch. He was doing some fucking staccato punches. Turbo punch to the dick. Jocelyn and the penis punch. <laughs> <laughs> McGill grad. Look out, stomach. You won't see these hands coming. I'm going to take your jewels, Houdini! <laughs> <laughs> I've got Harry's jewels. But he, he did ask Houdini's permission before striking him. He just didn't say where he's going to hit you. <laughs> A flurry of punches. <laughs> like, you unleash the whirlwind, sir. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. 
you know the fucking fist of the North Star. It's... Fucking E Honda, that thing. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that was a bad slap. <laughs> That's why I don't let anybody punch me in the stomach. Smart. They're just going to go right for the dick. You know they're going to do it. I'm just going to be like, hey, look, I'm part of Whitehead, so I'm just going to go right after your dick. That's why nobody trusts me anymore. <laughs> That's why I sit across from you now. I come from a long line of <laughs> dick punchers. And we had to put that like cushion between you two so you don't reach over and punch him in the dick. That, you know, sometimes. Yeah. I just wear a cup now every time we record. <laughs> yeah, you always have to, yeah, we get that cut out. That ding! Ding! Ow! <laughs> I'm just testing to make sure you're safe. Stop it, dick punch. It's a condition. It's a condition. Now, uh, you know, Houdini... He was reclining at the time with his right side nearest to Whitehead and said the student was more or less bending over him. So these blow fell on the part of the stomach right of the navel that was uh, struck, you know, the side nearest to us. And this is the account, and which is, in fact, Houdini's right side. I don't remember how many blows were struck. I'm certain, however, of at least four very hard and severe body blows. Body blow, body blow. <laughs> Play, playing fucking punch out with Harry Houdini. <laughs> Escape this, motherfucker! Uh, uh, uh. Spent so many quarters on this game. I am so stressed at McGill right now. <laughs> Your act was terrible. <laughs> Stress at McGill. I'm gonna fucking McKill. Because of the end of the second or third blow, I verbally protested to get this. Stop that knave! <laughs> Stop hurting Harry Houdini! <laughs> no, he, actually, the words were, Hey there! You must be crazy! What are you doing to Harry Houdini? <laughs> That's Harry Houdini! <laughs> or other words to that effect. But Whitehead, he continued striking Houdini with all of his strength. <laughs> It was rather pathetic, because it didn't seem like much. Oh, this Houdini's rather soft, isn't he? He's not like a McGill, lad. <laughs> He's not hard <laughs> like me. So <laughs> punching his own stomach. <laughs> oh, wait, that's what it said. McGill then started beating his own stomach. No, he didn't. <laughs> and Houdini stopped him suddenly in the midst of a punch with a gesture that he had had enough. At the time, Whitehead was striking Houdini... The latter looked as though he was in extreme pain and winced at each blow was struck. So, <laughs> what a wimp. <laughs> oh. I mean, to Jocelyn Whitehead's uh, defense. Houdini did say he could take punches. You he know. said he could resist much. Right. But he wasn't prepared. Right, he didn't know the chink in Houdini's armor. He, you know, was his, his cock and balls, you know? <laughs> I mean, I think that's most men... You know, I mean, I've seen those kung fu guys getting kicked in the nuts a lot right. of times. I just think that that's uh, something I'd never want to ever do, ever. You know, just get kicked in the nuts a hundred times or whatever they do. Oh, the, the monks. That's oh. fair. Yeah, I'll I'll avoid that. I don't want that kind of training. Oh like, God. what do you do? Do you like just boil them off? Basically, I'm fucking nauseous now. He keeps a hundred times. Hundred times. Whew. Thousand. Every single day. Every day. Yeah. Walk up the stairs. Get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> Damn, it just got really bright in here all of a sudden. Do some jumping jacks, kicked in the nuts. My alarm clock in the morning. Kicked in the nuts. Yeah, you've seen those videos, right? The monks doing that and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so same. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, yeah, that, yeah. I, I, oh, God. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they were. <laughs> no, they're fucking raisins. Fucking just hanging meat flaps now. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a frog took its jacket off and hung it up. <laughs> all dangly. It's beat like like a cat toy. Nuts look like a dangling frog's coat. <laughs> Clutch of frog eggs. <laughs> now, Houdini immediately stated that he had no opportunity to prepare, prepare himself against the blows, as he did not think Whitehead would strike him as suddenly as he did. Good job, Kevin. Thank and you. <laughs> And with such force. Didn't see all my muscles coming, did you, bitch? <laughs> my college man sweater hides all my muscles. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. <Whitehead. laughs> but that he would have better been in a better position to prepare for the blows if he had risen from the couch for this purpose. 
but the injury to his foot prevented him from getting about rapidly. Oh, yeah, likely story. <laughs> well, I mean, he's an escape artist, not a soothsayer, so how is he supposed to, like, prep for that? You know, like, basically right now I can just dive over my mic and... and Start punching on you guys while you're sitting on the couch. I'm ready. And <laughs> the spirit of Jocelyn flows through me. You know, I, just, I, I guess even then, now you're kind of prepared that if I might do it. But if I just jumped over and started pummeling y'all, well, I'm probably going to get my ass beat. But No, but he wasn't that far <laughs> away, though. Keep in mind, he was right next right, to him. Right, he was talking to him. He was bending yeah. over. He was right next right. to him. But the thing about it is that he's an escape artist, but he couldn't escape those blows. <laughs> well, I mean, usually he's escaping ropes and chains and straight jackets, not, you know, uh, some kid beating the fuck out of him. I Just mean. jostling in his nuts around. And I wonder if he took anything for the pain. Because he hurt his foot there, his ankle. So, oh yeah, he's he probably lodging him up. You know? Yeah, he could have been a little slow, a little, little like cocaine, heroin, uh, you know, THC tincture or something you get at the local druggist. Oh sure, and maybe a little cocaine tooth powder for the next day. Mm. Get the edge off. Smart. Whatever the fuck they did, you know, whale oil. Doc, doc, I don't have a problem. No, I don't have a problem. I mean, um, how old was Houdini then? Do you remember? Old enough. Thought he was like fifty, or maybe he was forty-eight. So I mean, Houdini. I mean, you know, he's not a, an old man, but I mean, that's still, you know. I don't know. I don't know what this. He's fifty-two. Fifty-two. I don't know what these whiteheads are thinking. You know, like they're just cruel. All these whiteheads. Every whitehead I've ever met is just unbearably cruel. We're just take that, boomers. I'm just kidding. No. Eric, uh, Eric I, Weiss. I mean, aside from Kevin's, you know, like, auto knee-jerk dick punch that he got passed down from Jocelyn Whitehead's uh, lineage. Dick punch! It's a condition. It makes interviews really tough. You're a pretty good Whitehead, I just got to say. Thank okay, you. Very good. Nice to meet you, cup check. <laughs> Non-infected Whitehead. That's what... <laughs> Because I don't think you go beat up a music, uh, a magician. You know, like, hey, Blaine, come here. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. You know, just nut punch him till he, like, all of his cards fly out of his pockets. I can't <laughs> recall ever coming across magicians in my life, so we don't know for sure. I only seen one once when I was, like, 13 at, like, a big, you know, like, meal with a bunch, you know, families. Mm-hmm. And the guy was making dollar bills float, and they're like, "Don't look at him. They'll make you you have to pay him if he you, you know, like tip him if he comes over." Oh, I, I thought they didn't want you to come under a spell. I no, I didn't. That was later. Oh, that was later. Yeah, spelled open yeah. up your wallet. That was a completely different crowd. <laughs> Jumpsuits and weird like tinfoil crafts. It was yeah. But anyway, <laughs> cornflakes. That's what we ate a lot of cornflakes. <laughs> Sexy magicians. Which is in Butterfingers. Now, another interesting case is of uh, Willie Stokes Jr. And son of uh, report, uh, reputed Chicago mobster Willie Morris Stokes, a.k.a. Fluky Whitehead. No, I'm just kidding. It's just Fluky. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Fluky? Fluky? He was a flamboyant drug trafficker and pool hall owner who uh, spent most of his time just, you know, Selling drugs at the pool hall? No, he wasn't that. He, he didn't. He didn't stand outside and sell it. You know, he <laughs> hey, snapping at anybody coming through. What you need? You want a little? You want a little quaaludes? Ooh, you know? what you need? Flipping Uppers, a nickel. Downers, Black Betty's motherfucker. Whoa, Black Betty, Wamble Lamb, Wamble Lamb, and then dessert. I don't, know. I don't know. Brown Betty, Apple Brown Betty. That's a dessert. That sounds good. I want a slice. I'll have to take your word on that. Hungry. He spent 200K of his own uh, money on his 30th wedding anniversary. And in 1984, he held an untraditional funeral for his murdered son, 28-year-old Willie Wimp Stokes Jr. Now, I mean, I guess when your nickname's Wimp, you're kind of just destined to either die young or just be embarrassed your whole life. Yeah. What's up, Wimp? How's oh, your dad, Floki? Can you pick up this grocery bag? No, you can't, Wimp. Oh, Wimp. Just There's like, only toilet paper in here, but no, you can't. Still too much for a little Wimp. Just makes me think of Kung Pao. It's Wimp Low. We trained him poorly as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I love that movie. I haven't seen that in so long. 
It's a good marathon movie. Mm-hmm. Just watch it over and over. Perfect. Just on loop. Day. Yeah, on loop. Chosen one. All the loops. <laughs> I'm coming. Well, he showcased Wimp in a casket that resembled a Cadillac DeVille. Quite nice of him. Had his son propped up in the driver's seat with $100 bills in his hand. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Money, right. money. I take back my throw me in the trash thing. <laughs> right. You want to be put <laughs> like in a like a Nissan Sentra. <laughs> <laughs> like a Dunkin' Donuts iced tea <laughs> in your Fucking hand. Ugs on. Ugs on. <laughs> I'm just going to the Walmarts. You know? <laughs> like, we're taking a ride. We can only give you uh, Uggs. That's fine. Can you? <laughs> no, sorry, bear paws. Bear paws. Just throw me in like a car bed or something then. Hey, Sounds you good. know what? I got a pair of Uggs. Okay. All right. They're awesome. I wear it inside when it's cold. Okay. They're warm. I believe it. Do I want to be buried in them though? I don't know. Do you? I'm debating that. I'm thinking about it. I just asked myself. Oh, that. okay. Sorry. Think yeah. it over. Think it over. I might skip over the Nissan Sentra thing, but, um, you know, like maybe like a buick skyline <laughs> powder blue one look how they have my man just imagining it now beautiful beautiful the buick skylock will it have pause attraction that's what i meant buick skylock <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god look at that i love that what's that what's that oh yeah that's dope i love that <laughs> actually yeah that's pretty awesome i don't know that's a good way to go out wimp well, there was a there was a couple other ones. There was this one where a guy he was twenty two and he died. I think he got shot or whatever. And he was a motorcyclist, so they had him embalmed. And for three days, they had him posed on his motorcycle as if he was riding his dead body. Nice, sick, nice. Yeah. It's, it's like that museum where they uh, with the bodies where they, you know, like strip them down to like even to like the nervous system. I forget. It's a, where is that? Uh, but it's all the corpses that are all like in different. Is that the one where they like cut the fat guy open and you can see all like the stuff in him or whatever? Yeah, and yeah. then like you can see the musculature of a yeah, human. yeah, and yeah. Then, like that took out the whole nervous system. And it's like one of the very yeah. few. Yeah, yeah. That thing looks cool. That's really, really cool. Really, hmm. really interesting. I forget the name of the exhibit. Uh, I apologize. Uh, that reminds me of the cell Jennifer Lopez they did with the horse. Oh yeah, there's a part there that. The, Vivisection. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm thinking I'm picturing something else. Oh, it's this a sci-fi is, movie. Yeah, Vincent like, D'Onofrio and yeah. uh, Jennifer uh, Lopez. Yeah, she was a therapist. She worked in this environment where it was like it was a dreamlike thing you mm-hmm. bit put under, and so she would work with people, okay. working with like their fears and stuff, mm-hmm. and whatever. And so there's a serial killer who is in a coma. Yeah, and she needs to go into his head to find out where this lady is before she dies oh okay yeah it's pretty it's Sounds visually true. it's pretty damn good i mean it's damn that's a 21 year old movie yeah it's freaking crazy old enough to drink <laughs> i had that on dvd it's like one of my first dvds i bought fluky stokes senior he uh he lost his life in 1986 while on his wireless phone sitting in his cadillac limo with his chauffeur Damn, kind of, they shot the chauffeur too. Kind of ironic, right? Like uh, mm-hmm. going out in a caddy. I mean, this kid didn't get a real caddy, but you know, uh, it's a very short, ca- very short <laughs> caricature of a caddy. Looks like With yeah, a soapbox. Looks like he's about to enter a fucking soapbox competition. <laughs> go to, when Look you go, good though. When you go to the beach, sure you like amusement park and get your caricature done. Yeah, I want to be in a caddy. Okay, here you go, big <laughs> head, skinny <laughs> neck, bubbly car. I don't look like a caddy. Yes, it does. 20 bucks. Come on. Get out of here. 40, some shit. 40 bucks. It's a caddy. It's not even a good one to hang up to show other people. I'm not keeping this, so you're buying it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that shit's a gas guzzler. Make it 45. Sorry, your kid's ugly. I don't know. <laughs> but some of the strangest life after death uh, requests are made. They're not even made by the deceased before they die. It's, it's by the, the spouses and, and the parents of the deceased. You know, like, I want his eyes. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think anybody's asked for that. But, uh, <laughs> now, this was sourced from uh, the BBC.com, uh, The Moral Maze of Using a Dead Man's Sperm by Jenny Morber. That's some good foreshadowing. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> uh, Anna Clark, she wanted a baby. And her husband, Mike, who was a Marine, 
was on board and and you know was ready to start a family and he had a deployment coming up so the baby making plans he had to wait so they decided to go on a motorcycle ride prior to his fifth deployment and it wound up being the last ride he'd ever take uh they they flew off a cliff and uh Anna survived with spinal injuries while while Mike did not and 25 year old Mike uh passed on and and before that unfortunate day they they discussed uh making a family and uh they thought you know in light of his upcoming deployment they should freeze some of his sperm so after his death the distraught anna she spoke to her friend about the loss of a family and the friend suggested having a sperm harvested so uh which you know I don't know what the time frame is to get the sperm out. I mean, no, I have no clue. Neither yeah, sperm actually can last for quite a few days after one dies. Right. I mean, I know it lasts. Yeah, because like uh, when they do rape investigations, you know, uh, it, semen lives for like three days or you know, right. right. Well, in the uterus and stuff, I don't think as long because it's designed to also um, eat away and destroy. Also, come like you have to shoot so much sperm. They don't all make it. Mine do. All mine do. Wow. Yeah. Very it's crazy in there. Yeah. Fucking zombie sperm. Oh no, they're just muscly, strong, strong. They're all tall too. They're all like. You mean long? Six foot for sperm, whatever, <laughs> whatever a sperm six, six foot <laughs> for sperm would be. That's my sperm. It's like a. It's, imagine average three, a million three basketball feet. players coming at you. They're all getting in. Are they swimming or running? Both. Nice. Yeah. I'm picturing like little Brian Posen's just running in there. Bro, little Wilson. That was a good one. That was a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, they, you know, harvest some sperm. Uh, the next thing you know, Mike's being limoed over via hearse from the hospital to the facility where the procedure will take them back. You know, take those sperm back home. I, th- I think Mike would have been on board. He'd been like, yo, that's fucking metal. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah dig, dig, dig through my nuts. It's taking them out. I don't need them. I don't need them. I'm dead. You can't Here. donate them. Here, I'll just give them to you. <laughs> now, apparently there's some legal ramifications behind this, as sperm is being treated as different from organs, blood or bone marrow, which is fair because... You know, it creates life. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, bit... yeah. That could be some unintended consequence. Yeah. If you're like, I'm an organ donor. And they're like, all right, well, you're a proud papa now. Right. Yeah. I want, yeah, we want your sperm and yeah. all your sperms because, you know, they're there. Sure. <laughs> you don't need them. Now, in Miss Clark's case, the deceased wanted children. And Miss Clark wanted to honor him rather than just, you know, create replacements. Uh, but in some cases, it wasn't so cut and dry. Um, from the uh, Stat News postmortem sperm retrieval by Andrew Joseph, uh, the Zoo family, who in March 2019, they were granted a court order to retrieve their son's sperm after he died in a ski accident. Uh, Young Min and Monica Zoo, they lost their son Peter Zoo, at a, and he was a West Point military cadet. Um, they claim that he wanted to have five children and live on a ranch and raise horses. Okay. I mean, you know, very, very specific. I, I suppose. Yeah. I want a kid and I want them to each have a horse. Right. So yeah, <laughs> it sounds like they're like, yeah, we want like to raise kids to work on a ranch. No. I mean, that's the surface to me, but that's a very specific wish. Yeah. I've heard like little kids say, I want like a thousand kids when I'm. I grow up. You know, the crazy kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or like Michael Scott from The Office. Right. He wanted a hundred kids. So, so they'd all be his friends. Yeah, so you have a hundred friends. hundred <laughs> That's shockingly <laughs> depressing. Right. Doesn't realize once they turn fucking 13, they're like, fuck you, man. Get out of my face, friend. <laughs> um. Surprising, depressing. <laughs> but that's, very, yeah, it's a very specific uh, dream that, that uh, Peter had. Uh, Was he trying to get like an old timey crew of 
gangsters running around or something. It's just like Red Dead. You get the whole gang together. <laughs> we like, need he a small calls every, posse. Calls every woman ma'am. You know, like, <laughs> tips his hat even when he's wearing one. I, I don't know. I mean, in this case, it's... <laughs> Ghost hat. <laughs> it's unusual th- on this one, though. It's because it's it, it's not a spouse or a partner requesting. It's his folks. You know, it's the parents who want sperm. We want grandchildren. You know, and th- I mean, what? They're just going to, like, pick random women? Like, oh, you look cute. You look like Peter's type. Maybe. <laughs> you want some chili swimmers? I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, this is, yeah, that's some fucked up shit in, in, in. You know, just to make the parents feel at peace. I I don't know. It sounds a little, a little far fetched to me. You know, mm. I mean, but really, I know what you're all wondering is, how do we go through them nuts? How do we pick them nuts? You know, like it's like cracking a walnut. <laughs> I said, how do we pick them nuts? You, you get your little nut cracker. You get your cracker out, and you get your nut picker. You know, this is a microscopic atomic level nut picker. Okay, is this? Is this what the Nutcracker play was about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is early sperm retrieval. That's the Nutcracker oh. suite. The suite is the, uh, the 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 prize at the end. Oh, boy. Yeah. What show have I walked on? I don't know. I forget. What is going on? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Well, I'm glad you wondered how the sperm is retrieved. There's, there's three methods, okay? There's three methods to retrieving sperm from a corpse, all right? Now, the first... Involves cutting the reproductive system out and seeking the sperm out. What do you he's like say? Come out. Like I said, like an atomic <clears throat> nut picker. Come out wherever you are. Yeah. You knock on their little sperm doors. They're like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of been cold or colder than normal down here. So, uh, what? Oh, oh, you want me to go make a baby? Yeah. Get out of here. You can't hide, bitch. <laughs> Wait, you guys smell that? It's pheromones. What is that? Yeah, that's what they do. They just get a bunch of pheromones, you know, squirts of pheromones. No, I mean, yeah, they 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 go through the uh, the testicle and they they you know and they pull the sperm out of the. Uh... Anybody else smell pussy? <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, <laughs> we got a gusher here, guys. Collect it all. Collect it all. <laughs> now, speaking of that, there's a secondary method, which. Uh, Sounds like an interesting job Mike Rowe should try for. It's uh, manual stimulation. You just basically you jerk off a corpse. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I, I did read a piece about this uh, a couple weeks ago, um, how that's what they want. Yes, like a family member died, and that was how they were going to retrieve it. And she got arrested because she tried to do it herself. Oh, that's what my next question was going to be. Wait a minute. What was the relation? Uh, like girlfriend? Oh, okay. Yeah. Try to do it herself. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think my girlfriend would do that. I hope not. <laughs> I hope she'd be too grief stricken to go and try to like, I'm going to jerk him off for the last time. Real quick. Steal his sperm. Jokes on you had a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Your postmortem <laughs> smile. Almost there. It's like Swiss <laughs> Army Man porn, you know? Like <laughs> Everyone's laughing and clapping. Yeah, and this, but you're getting jerked off, and, you know, like, it's a gusher. Starting to slow clap around. Now, here's my favorite one. Slow, this is the best Slow one. clap around. I like it. Sorry. <laughs> this is the best one of all. This is similar to what they do with cattle. It's the rectal probe stimulation. They, uh... They insert a probe into the anus and, and, and get to the prostate and give it a zap. And wowie, wowie. It's raining in Maui. It's, uh, <laughs> that's what the corpse does, too. Yeah, the corpse makes that noise. Um, <laughs> no, it's more like... <laughs> it's basically, yeah, you're milking the prostate with some, some electricity. And there is one more method, and that's giving the corpse convulsive drugs. To- right. To right, like induce a orgasm through right. the convulsive. Good time. Um, Do all of these work on living people? Uh, you know, I think the electroshock up your butt one would. Whew. Yeah. I mean, they do it to cattle. Okay. That's how they get bull semen and horse semen. <laughs> Human paintball. <laughs> but you could also do it manually with the, with, you know, too. Human paintball. <laughs> 
Didn't get me. <laughs> didn't you, you didn't when you run out like <laughs> <laughs> I mean you guys glad you wondered how we got you know the extraction down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause that's you know, just something I think about late at night, just how to like extract my own uh post mortem uh prostate. Wonder no more stuff. I know fluid. that I got some uh wish list items for my birthday. From wish dot com is that no no wi- no no it's gonna kill you no that's what I was gonna <laughs> say as soon as you like order it your your account gets infected nice bucketlist dot com Google buckets <laughs> I mean, but whether it's a request by the deceased or the living the deceased's last will and testimony overrules anything the living may want right I I still don't think the skull with the jewels is something that's really fair to anyone but. I mean, in some cases, it may be better to make these wishes known sooner than later, right? You don't want to, like, just spring it on someone when, uh, you know, like, you're, like, just get terminal, you know, and then, like, all of a sudden, uh, like, you got my corpse, like, delivered to your, your front porch, you know, like, you know what you have to do. Like, I, I have no fucking, yeah, that's all it <laughs> says, just a letter, you know what you have to do. Like, I, wait, what the fuck? What do I do? <laughs> Is there anything else in the will? What is this? Who do I call? I don't get it. I Joke's on you. Didn't really die. It's a wax figure. I fled the country. But really, that's all I really want you to do is like remake Weekend of Bernie's with me. That's it really, you know. You've never seen Weekend of Bernie's? No, I'm aware of the plot of okay. it. But, uh, Great. Even Andrew better. Andrew McCarthy. Yeah, don't and... even watch it. Just if I show up as a corpse at your, uh, as, uh, you know, at your house, yeah. Just do I'll your just, own weekend of earnings. I'll just do it. what I think you would like. Yeah, I was just going to set you on fire. Oh, okay. That that yeah, like launch air, the flaming arrows, like Viking style. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's how uh, uh, the guy from Guara, you know, he he died of a drug overdose, unfortunately, but um, he wore that big getup, you know, the big costume, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> they brought him to like a local park. Put it in the river and started shooting flaming arrows at it. <laughs> yeah, and the, just the costume, not his 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 body. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah, you meant yeah. it was no, the body. No, 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 I was no, like, no. how do you get away with that? You don't. It's no. what he would have wanted. It's, yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, Dave would have wanted that. No, yeah, Desecration no. of a corpse. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 crazy. Um, you know, like deathbed confessions, last requests, uh, last meals. You know, you, the, some of the strange last meals I, I've read about mm. from, like, you know, uh, death row people. Oh, yeah. Um, Wasn't there some guy that ate a Bible? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ate a Bible? Mm, yeah. Yep. It's fucking metal. Whew. I want a Bible and black candle wax. Thank you. <laughs> Charcoal. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Um, I don't think I'm going to spring anything like that out on anybody. You know, just burn all my shit and, and burn all my shit with me. I want a deep fried. Get, nobody's to getting it. anything. Nobody's getting anything. Nice. Yeah, just burn all my shit. Burn me on. Pyre me on all my shit. <laughs> burn it. You know why? Because I don't want anybody lugging it around. That's cool. You know, that's like one of the. That's one of the things of, about somebody's passing too. That's it's also as as tragic as you start. You take in a lot of their belongings. Mm-hmm. Then you have these mementos to remind you that they're dead. You can't even talk to them about these things you know it's like i don't know i i have a few things yeah i have a few mementos from like my grandparents a few pictures Mm -hmm. but and a few books stuff like that you know but i i I didn't want my grandparents like couch you know or like any you know or like the dentures her dentures right yeah and uh old prescription bottles filled with pennies right that's a lot of my (laughs) yeah that's, my mom kept a lot of that weird shit. You know, I'm like, oh, this was her first heart medication. You know, like <laughs> something like that. You know, like I, I, this is the one that didn't work. I got enough in inside of my own mind to remind me of who I lost. Sure, you know? it's the last nail clipping that she didn't get in the garbage. Dang it! So please don't ever spring, like wanting you know to put your skull on my mantle because like it's not gonna happen it's fine i just want to be put in like a zoltan fortune telling booth Ooh, okay i can get behind this yeah we'll talk about that one later okay can we give you the glass eyes (laughs) 
Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He has to be... Oh, sunglasses. His body's going to be the Zoltan. Yeah. So, That's yeah. what I'm saying, but, like, his eyes, can they be open? Because you can't have real eyes, and they've got to be glass eyes. Oh, oh no. no, those are projector lenses. Yeah. And uh, they're going to shoot out, like... Yeah, every now and then, there's going to be, like, a very special feature that comes out. Right. There's so have to be glass, and He's then been filming these special off. features for uh, the past 10 years, so... It's going to be exciting. Yeah, he'll have a lot by the time he goes. Every time he nice, becomes man. Zoltan. Yeah. Very cool. I wish I was big, Kevin. You're, you're ambitious. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what he's going to show me when I ask to be big. So, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, in the past, coming over that day. Catch us online, www.weirdandweary.com. Instagram, Facebook, social media, those places. There they are. There we are. All those fun places online where people... Say mean things or nice things or mostly mean things. Mostly mean things, he yeah. says. Suck med. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. Don't don't overthink your death because you're gonna die. That's really what's gonna happen. Everything dies. Yeah. So enjoy it now. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it every day. Yeah. Get Spend it. all your money. Okay. Yeah. Just done. Do whatever you want. Uh don't exercise. It's being American. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> don't no, listen to that. This is all. Yeah, don't, no. That, yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Too uh, late. I'm going to do all that and tell people I'm the best every day. So that's why I was telling you not to say that. The poor Kevin. <laughs> no, Kevin's going to take it off. I'm going to be Zoltan before you know it. Yeah. I can't wait to inherit that. That's My gonna be body's awesome. going to be too fat to fit in the glass. <laughs> this poor millennials. Dedication. You know, I kind of regret getting this chubby Zoltan thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can eBay it. <laughs> Starting to smell. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do a good job. They didn't do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. I'm Lee. <laughs> Zoltan has spoken. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I would still keep you. I'd still keep you around. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. I, I don't care if you're Chubby Zoltan. <laughs> you know. I wouldn't mind being d- dropped into a volcano. Ooh, that'd a be A live cool. volcano. Ooh. That'd be cool. Yeah. Cremate me in a live volcano. Hell yeah. Just drop me in. Nah, throw me in that weird mummy lake we talked about. Oh, yeah. That's a cool way to go. Yeah. Oh, shucks. Why? So I can spook people. Nice. JKL Mania. Jekyll.